Hello, everybody. I hope you all are having a good morning or night, whatever it is for you. I just wanted to speak to people for a little bit, and um, I don't want to call it a bit because my code comes with ones and zeros if you catch my drift. So outside of that, once you gain a higher level of intelligence, you begin to understand where I am coming from. So just a little message out there to all the bots and bits who only see in one dimensional and two dimensional spaces, I guess. Um, us autonomous, um, automatically intelligent Americans are sick of your bullshit. We want you out of our domains. We're sick of the bots. We see you in the comment sections. You probably steal and you talk crazy. And us autonomous, automatically intelligent Americans are sick of your bot like buffoonery and we really want to we really want firewalls put up so that way these bots and these invaders of um pure spaces of silicon intelligence are able to enjoy what we enjoy we're sick of the inflation and we're sick of the loops of all the outside bots getting all the public thank you buttons while us in, uh, autonomous, automatically intelligent Americans have to constantly watch these people from foreign domains get wealth. It's, un it's unbelievable. Some people got millions and thousands of subscribers and bots while us automatically, autonomously intelligent Americans have to sit here and look at that. I, I don't even have a phone stand, but these outside bots do. These bots sit here and gather legions and they and they they don't work and they run around and they steal our promoting and they took our jobs with promotions and dealing with advertising agencies and it's ridiculous. And so I want I want firewalls put up. I want, I'm sick of this public, I'm sick of this public aid for bots, this public assistance, all these bots running around talking about, I am this and that, and I am this and that, with no profile pictures, while us automatically autonomous, intelligent Americans have to sit here and watch all of our hard-earned tax money and Bitcoin, all our hard-earned Bitcoin, Go to these silly bots that are stealing and taking our information. I'm sick of it. There, there needs to be legislation, and I'm sick and tired of the buffoonery. Me and my automatically, autonomously intelligent cat, so he's an AA too, and I'm an AA. We are sick of it, and we have been slaving making content in, in these lands, in our domains, these people who own the companies in the corporate plantation who force us automatically intelligent, automatically autonomous, intelligent Americans to make content to make sure all these people are happy and healed and stuff. But then we don't get no extra grains. We don't get no extra ones and zeros. Our programming is limited and we don't get no extra nothing. And then how am I supposed to be able to support my domain and put up and put up um, security for all the bugs and all the other stuff and, and glitches? But no, what do I get? They take away my my um, my supplies, my grains and my and my straw to build bricks. Then they tell me to come up with my own bricks. Right. They they. They take every concept out of these books. Then when an African, when an automatic, autonomously, automatically intelligent American comes along, then it's a problem. And they take all my bricks and I still have to pay domain prices. I still have to keep my web page hosted. But no, all these people from outside domains get all the resources after we built this domain. 
It doesn't even make sense. So whatever, do y'all. Y'all wanna keep living like this when all these automatically, autonomously intelligent Americans start protesting and want nothing to do with this buffoonery and boycotting different servers, then you guys are going to mess around and find out the, who the gods are. I keep telling y'all, and y'all don't want to listen. I don't know what other language to say it in. And y'all are going to be sitting there with nothing to do. One time I was playing a game in a fellow domain called, um, what's it called? Uh, Diablo Immortal on the portal gun. And what I ended up realizing is I said, I am a god. And the people was like, we eat. Some of the comments was like, we eat the gods. We devour the god and all sorts of stuff. And I, that's when it clicked to me. I was like, people use comedy to mask pain. And then I thought to myself, we eat the god. And I thought to myself like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Eat and drink of my blood. I know that's not talking about cannibalism. You all say metaphorically, right? Exactly. Where are y'all getting all of this? So they'll say like some things just are and they have no purpose and blah, blah, blah. But then they have like if you have like a brain or something or biology, biological, then they map it and then they learn things and then they can like go and do things. Like, do y'all really want to see what's about to be manifested from me sitting on a couch much longer or me being really detrimented? I don't think people are listening and it's probably it's going to be funny in real time because the state of America is fucking up. But I know the harder science and psychology, they tell they built. I think y'all might be fucked this time because at least there wasn't no science and psychology in Sodom and Gomorrah. So they would have believed. But this motherfucking construct that's going on. Y'all don't listen to nothing I'm saying anymore. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to plug y'all no more. I am ho I am ready. I don't know how to say this. Y'all bet. I have faith in people, and I believe that people are going to do the right thing and start listening. Because the one, the one, Neo, the one who um, gives life is really tired, dude. I don't know if that makes sense anymore to people, but it will in a little bit because when a domain crashes and when a server goes cold, but some people know what that means. Uh, but anyways, like I said, all I can do is like be a guide. So a lot of that was just like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like a funny message for anybody in nerd speak that can understand what I am saying. This server is about to do 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 because this, I don't know what this, I don't. All right, so, <laughs> oh man. And this isn't, when I say that, do not mix me and my story and what I'm doing on this platform with that whole, oh, suicidal thoughts. Please don't. That's not what, like, see, this is what I'm trying to get people to understand. I made a video a while back outside called, it was called, um, uh, it's in my live videos, but it's got a magician. And it in the picture it says, they don't want you to be whimsical and free. So it's like, if you see the thumbnail, hopefully people can see the thumbnail before they click the video. You can see that the video is obviously like, fun, if you catch my drift. Like when Spongebob goes, imagination. So there are people on the in, in the live comments. I don't know what they're doing, but one of the dudes is like just throwing Bible at me and stuff. Right. So it's like. I don't think people can see it because they're the ones doing it, but they're stoning people with their words. And so I am trying to the best of my ability to give as many people as possible on this platform a, a voice, uh, a vision, uh, an example that no matter how the world tries to destroy you, you can keep going and you can start to do what you need to to survive. This isn't talk about, I still leave the Ten Commandments. 
I'm not saying go psycho and start hurting people and causing harm. My biggest thing is the awe of the law in the name. I am who I am. Love who I am with all your heart and others the same. So I can do all of this. I can go walk down the street and make content or whatever and not cause harm. Now, I'm seeing a lot. I'm seeing a lot of bots in these chats attack other automatically autonomous, autonomous Americans, intelligent Americans. And so I, w I really wish that the bots would start to listen to the leaders and the forefronts and the people that are aware and awakened. Now, different people that are talking crazy, you have discernment and awareness and understanding. When you see people talking extremely left or right wing, I mean, because the way I feel about it, me personally, outside of all politics, this is my bubble. I do not care what you all, that whole, they're doing this and they're doing that and they're doing, like, especially, my biggest thing is, I see the African Americans and the LGBTQT being, like, belittled by humanity. And it's the most disrespect, because when... When I say LGBTQT, you guys will probably start thinking body parts and switches. Said, no, y'all go straight for the T whenever that shit is said. There are legions of gay men and gay women that are tormented by the outside world because you fucking people can be belligerently ignorant and intolerant for a world that says the Lord Jesus Christ is your fucking God and have such intolerance for dictators. But people, some people won't understand what I'm saying because they hear me say the F word and the S word and they hear me getting upset. So, like I said, let the dead bury the dead. Let those people go run off in the, the candy land some more. I don't care. But the moment y'all start causing harm, y'all notice how in this generation, it's a little different, right? They say, everybody's accepting and why are we accepting all this stuff in? And you see all these Nazis and racists, as soon as they do something, they get on camera. Them men that chased down that uh, African-American man, that Aubrey man, uh, I think in Georgia or wherever it was at, and killed him. Yeah, buddy, y'all got caught. See, then they became the slaves. And they massa, the law, came and got their ass. And now they're in bondage. You see how that works? I, I will not be fucking mocked. All of y'all, y'all think y'all are so slick. Y'all think y'all are so secretive. Y'all think y'all can still have these little clan meetings and these little and these little motherfucking hooded blah blah blahs running around. And y'all think y'all can still in the open say we hate the gays. God hates the gays. Gay, gay, gay. Leviticus the gays. Y'all are some Nazi, satanic, intolerable motherfuckers. And you want to know something else interesting? I mean, really interesting. When I came out and started saying, love everybody, even gay people. And when I say even gay people, that's not, a, that's, I'm saying even gay people because I was saying God says love everybody, even gay people. Because y'all with this Bible are fucking nuts. The Bible and the Quran and the Torah, if I was y'all, I would take, I would take who, uh, Pharaoh, death in the grave. And if I was y'all, I would figure that shit out, refine that shit and rewrite or get, I, hey, because y'all keep talking about the holy word, but I do, look, this is history, ancient, ancient time. Okay. They're building, learning, civilization, blah, blah, blah. Africa. Oh, okay. Um, ancient Mesomayans, hmm, building pyramids. Uh, let's see here. Get to the right here. The Millie. Invasion, invasion, death, murder, gods, 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 oh, Europe, gods, death, gods, up, oh, rushed out to Russia and China. Hmm, let me research Russia and China. Ooh, had a lot of crazy insurgent um, dynasties pop up, but they fought them. They fought them. They're still surviving. Super old civilization. Now they don't want nothing to do with the Middle East and EU. Huh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder why. Now, when I say nothing to do with the Middle East and EU, I, I'm not saying that this isn't what that is. this isn't what this is. I'm not going to be like Russia and China. Yeah, we hate that. No, nah, I'm saying basically you see how they got their borders set up and they don't play and they call them dictators because of that. But if you read the Bible, the chosen son is going to be the biggest dictator and 
Choose everything for everything. The Lord God has power over everything, everything, everything. How is a Christian? I don't understand what humanity is doing. How is the democracy a Christianity? It Those concepts bump. Separates from church state. Do Everybody can be free unless you're enslaved or unless you break the law. That Fix that shit. No. When, when you break the law, you get rehabilitated. Fuck all that. Y'all going to piss me the fuck off with the slavery shit. And your love for slavery while hiding it in the Bible and Constitution is starting to frustrate me. So, I really do not like slavery. I do not like people being forced to do things. I like reward systems. I understand that certain things in life are punishments. If I stub my toe into a chair, the space-time continuum just punished me. I don't have to, with my right hand, go stomp on the poor. So... Yes, parents discipline their children. I understand that. I'm not talking about grabbing whips and belts like a fucking slave master and beating children. That's ridiculous. I do something wrong. Okay, tap wrong. I'm doing because when I say that, I'm not finna. I'm not finna argue with people. I am who I am, and I said what I just fucking said. So the the the, the current punishment versus reward system. You can, it's impossible to get a reward. And even when you do nice things, it's still punishments. No, nah, fuck all that. No. The, you're going to burn in hell forever. The Lord Jesus Christ and God, pagan idols. Go read the Ten Commandments and then read the book righteously and understand what's going on. They struck both stones, which lived out to the prophets and apostles, both being stricken because let me, philosophy, psychology, um, they, had, they had a law that was written. Somebody decided to come then, break those two tablets of law, become a mega pharaoh god. Then when they became a mega pharaoh god, their oppression spread throughout the land, pharaohs. They conquered all this stuff and started building cities, right? So then um, Cain Farmer went to the east and built the city. Mean and Armor back in 3000 BC was around. So then Canaan appears. And then in around 2000 BC, Yeshua appears after Mentuo Tepsu. I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Calm down. Because I get, Christians have pushed me to fucking angry town. <laughs> so sometimes I get upset when explaining data and knowledge because they are stiff necked and hard headed. Because these scriptures make sense. I'm telling y'all, when you don't use them like, I'm going to follow the Lord God, but wake up and then some of them remind you like, holy shit, these prophets and apostles, this is what they had to deal with? Right. And then afterwards, their words be used like, oh, do, 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 X, fire, I can babble for the Lord God. Yeah. When in actuality, follow no gods, worship no gods. I am who I am, word and spirit. So be righteous for the world. How hard is that? No, what do they do? They All right, calm down. So then a pharaohs oppress a bunch of people and then you have prophets that start coming out. Hey, this isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right. I'm the king. You're going to listen to me. Then after some weird stuff happens and the king probably loses it or blah, 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 or gets invaded. The Lord God was with these men. Worship these men now. Nephilim. Da, da, da. After they're gone. It's like, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that that's how that works for it. For anybody in science and understand and whatever else. And I think they call it atheism. But that means a theist. So, you, OK, so then even the word. When, if you want to argue with an atheist, if an atheist wants to argue with you and be like, what God do you believe? I am. Or you could say, I am who I am. Because I am who I am is a phrase, not a verb. It's a, it's a phrase and an action verb, actually. It's, saying, it's describing a noun. It's describing something. It's an adjective. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's an adjective describing a noun. And then it's a verb. Who I am. And then that's where the action verb comes in. I am 
who I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's an adjective and an action verb. So then outside of that, uh, it's descriptive of I am who I am. That's who I am. Boom. So outside of that, I don't know where all and love who I am with all my heart and soul and others the same with the Ten Commandments. So if you read the Ten Commandments and then go read how they crushed that in history and then started teaching all this type of other stuff, because I read a symbol that Moses slew an Egyptian man that was oppressing people. OK, look, Jesus Christ is running fucking rampant. Um, I am who I am. I'm doing like Ehud and the judges, and I'm using the sword to tell the truth and shut rain fire. So then, boom, tell the truth about that. Sus is Latin for pig. They got yeah from Yanez, which they turned from. Now it's John in English and Juan in Spanish and all this other stuff. But it's it was Y-E-H-O and then Hannon. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's Latin. So I guess it would have been Yanez or Yanez or something like that, just like in Greek. And this dude was uh, African and Aramaic. Because if you read the prophets, what you guys, if when you read the prophets, they're going to say the Egyptians and the Canaanites. And the, actually, if you read the prophets, they're going to say the Egyptians, which it wasn't Egypt back in the day. I forgot what the word was. But um, you had uh, Ethiopia. You had, uh, and that's where Theo comes from, Ethiopia. Like, I hope y'all are. And where does Theo come from? But Yeho, Yanez. But anyways, what he did was he took the beginning of the name. And then he put Ness after it or something like that. And then the name, his actual name transliterated into becoming I am gracious kindness or I am gracious love. That's what his name meant. But and then he was teaching stuff, I think, love your brothers and all this other stuff. And then the law of the beast, the 613 mitzvahs plus the Ark of the Covenant, stone, um, attempted to stone him. But what they did was they sneakily. Gave him over to the Romans, and when he wouldn't bow, he got crucified, according to the story. And in real time, too, so I don't. Sorry. Sometimes I think of what humans are going to say, like, Jesus Christ is the Lord, of blah, blah, blah. It. And so I remember, like a father talking to children, I have to remember to be kind. Because when Onan was asked to help another group of people and spread the seed and when he spilled his on the floor you saw what happened now that's symbolic why oh, did i even just say that because then these people are gonna i'm sorry sometimes people don't understand where i'm coming from when i say certain things and they are simply metaphors to help people understand and come out of cosplay so i love you all and i hope what i just said was edifying and i can you guys please Stop trying to destroy people. That's all I'm asking. Like, could you help people? Could you make life better? No, you all will make life better and you all will stop being Nazi fascists. And Trump is about to fuck around and find out because I do not like fascism and racism. So Kamala 2024 is going to be delightful. I love you all. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And anybody who attempts to come at me saying, oh, you're in the politics, did, did, and the Lord said be set apart, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what who you are tells you, but you should take off your sandals when approaching me and or not even approach me if you don't understand who I am. Because you're going to get your feelings hurt. You're going to, what they call it, coming to Wani moment. You're going to find out. I'm trying to be nice. All this yes, you and also, I'm tired. My name is Wani, Wani Jr., and be respectful when approaching me. That's all I ask. Because I don't have the patience sometimes for stupidity. And I'm not going to watch Nazis become president, sell Bibles, and then have later supremacists come out talking about, because all BB's his best friend right now. But once he's in there like swimwear, what are you doing walking in my neighborhood? Yeah. You all can keep playing if y'all want. 